Hey guys, so today I am filming a, um, kind of like a New Year's resolution, but I don't really want to call it that because they're not really resolutions, but more just like things that I want to focus on, um, in the new year. I just wrote down a few things and I wanted to share it with you guys just because I feel like, um, I've watched a few of these videos myself and it was inspiring and it was just interesting to see, like, what everyone is kind of... Um, interested on changing or being more aware of or just focusing on when a new year starts so I wanted to make one as well and share it with you guys so here we go um, the first thing that I have down is um, traveling and I think the reason why I picked that is because I was in Cuba um, for the very start of this year so the first week of a new year we were in a different place and I think that that was just so refreshing and I didn't even realize how refreshing it was until I got home. We just realized that to start the new year in a new place was like so cool and we've never done anything like that before. So traveling on that trip and just doing that trip really like set me in a traveling mindset. I guess you could say a specific wish or like goal that I want to say that I did in 2016 is go on this exchange program with my school um so what it is is you it's not really like a regular exchange where like someone from a different place comes to your school and you go to their school um it's this campus and you get to go on field trips to other places in Europe um and it's a very different way of learning you're learning in smaller groups and every course that you take has a trip so sometimes it's a trip um on campus but um, there's a few where you go to like Paris and Scotland um, and Berlin so if I could do that this year that would be so amazing. Um, the next um, thing that I want to do this year is save my money. Um, I used to be a really good saver and lately um, I've been able to save kind of but not as much. Um, and not like as well as I did before so I just want to focus on saving for things and I think having things in mind that I want to do this year will really help me do that because when you're saving for like something instead of just like putting money away for like no reason even though the reason may just be to like have a savings account which is awesome don't get me wrong but I think it's easier to save for something and then use that money and go and do that something that you've been working so hard to save for um is so awesome so I really want to save money um, this year so that I can do that exchange program I can do other trips that I want to do um, like at some point in this year I really want to go to California I wanted to go to California for so long um, well like the past few years but that's kind of a long time I don't know I just want to like actually plan that with a group of friends or maybe if it works out just one person but I really want to go to California and just explore all the places there because it looks like such a beautiful place um, so honestly if I could go to California and go on an exchange program in 2016 I would be so grateful and like so happy with accomplishing those two trips in this year so we'll see what happens but that's definitely on my like bucket list of traveling for 2016 the next thing that I think is really important for anyone and something that I really want to focus on like what I might need and then what I might need to do to like accomplish something that will make me feel better. To give an example, the first week of school for me was kind of like really stressful um, and made me kind of anxious um, and like really tired, like I felt really run down. So I feel like sometimes it's easy to ignore those things and do uh, like things that you're obligated to do or want to do instead of like stopping and relaxing and like resting up. Um, so I think it's just really important to take care of yourself like if you're feeling sick like stay in and don't go out with your friends even if you said you would you know like being able to say no to plans that you might have already had or that pl or plans that come up so that you can take care of yourself I think that's really important um, it could also mean like um, eating better like when I was in Cuba on my trip we ate so well and so regularly and I think it's so easy to like lose things that are so important like that when you're like on your day-to-day -day life like go 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 you're busy with school with work with friends um, with anything that you might be doing it's just so easy to like 
forget about the things that are actually so important in making you feel good. So I want to just try and remember those things more. I think it's just so important to like be aware of what your body needs and when you need it and what you have to do to make yourself feel better. Um, like if you have to take work off to like rest or if you're sick, like I just think it's okay to do those things if you need to, um, to like get yourself in a better place or like to slow down and rest up. And then the next thing that I have on my list is school. And this year I made a big change in my schooling. I changed my major from psychology into communications, which is like a huge jump. Um, but I'm so happy that I did it. When I went to my school and told them that I wanted to do it, the lady in the like academic offices, like advising offices was like, what are you doing? Like, why do you want to do this? I had like one year left. So everyone was like, why are you switching? Like, you're going to be in school for, like, three more years. Um, and I just, like, stuck to it. And I was like, no, like, I'm not happy in this program. I want to be in this program. And I want to finish with a communications degree and not a psychology degree. Because I know in the long run, it will just mean so much more to me and make me so much happy that I listen to myself. I just really want to focus on my school this year and, like, until I'm done it and really make it important. And I think why I want to is because I'm actually excited about what I'm learning and I like my programs and my classes um, and I think that's so important when you like something you actually want to do well at it um, and you don't want to like come out of it and being like yeah I took that but like I don't really remember anything I learned so I just really want to make school a bigger priority than I have before this year because it really is important to like absorb as much as you can and do as much as you can with your schooling to be able to just come out of there a wiser, more educated person. So school is on my list for sure. So the next like goal or wish, I guess, or like focus that I have of 2016 is, um, is to kind of do all of the things that I want to do, but without the pressure that I usually put on myself. Like I feel like so often we, say like I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna eat better, I'm gonna do all these things and there's like this pressure to do all those things and obviously that's the point is to do them but when we put that pressure on ourselves or on others to like complete these tasks or these resolutions honestly like the consequence of that not happening is failure and I feel like it doesn't have to be about failing you know it could be about trying or improving and not like putting that pressure to be like, I'm gonna go to the gym five times a week and if I don't, like, I failed. I feel like it's really important to just be more forgiving in the, the resolutions or the goals that we pick for a new year or a new month or a new week or any type of like new start and new change that we're going to um, launch ourselves into. Do things with intention more, but don't let that pressure of like completing everything at a certain time or like in a certain way discourage you because I feel like when we put that pressure on ourselves it can be so discouraging so I think it's important to just be forgiving if things don't work out or things don't happen the way you want them to and then you just honestly try again like I feel like it's more important to try and have intention to work on certain things rather than to put the pressure on yourself to burn. So in anything I do this year, I want to do it without that negative pressure of failing and just do it because I want to or because it's important to me or because it's a new thing. Um, and I think honestly so much more success will come from that than using failure as a motivation to do things. Um, so I'm sorry that I have to cut this short, but my camera's flashing at me and I don't have my charger. So if it dies, I'm screwed. Um, but I hope this video wasn't really all over the place. I'm really out of breath because I feel like I just talked so much. Um, but I am going to say that that's the end. Um, so all of those things are important to me this year. Maybe some of them are important to you as well. Uh, you can leave in the comments what your 2016 focuses or wishes or anything that you think you want to have happen or achieve in 2016 in the comments. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, so if you like what you see, subscribe and you'll see more videos from me. So bye guys!